Alistair lived at Shipton Hall in Halifax. She was born in 1791. Um, she was a formidable woman. She was a prolific diarist. Um, she's known widely uh, for writing about her lesbian sexuality um, in a diary um, comprising of 27 volumes, um, around 5 million words. She wrote in two different kinds of um, script. One was plain hand, which we would call just normal writing, and the other was called code, or crypt hand. She wrote ostensibly about her life with women, and particularly about her sexual life with women. I read something very recently which described her, her as um, a 19th century woman made for 21st century consumption. She was a very phenomenal, phenomenally gifted, um, clever person who lived her life as freely and as bravely as she could given the fact that she was born in 1791. Um, she believed that her sexuality was God-given and was natural. She acted with discretion in all her relationships with women, but she, she lived as plainly and as openly as she could in society. She was hugely optimistic. She had great self-esteem. She had fantastic family support. All the essential things that make you able to be confident in who you want to be. The diaries are, are a, a treasure trove of information and they just basically allow, allow you to try and travel back into a world that we wouldn't have had access to had our list not written her diary. Talking to people who watch the drama and who write to me and who write to Sally and uh, they, they say um, that it's the first time they feel that a gay woman has been rep represented on mainstream television in such a positive, um, honest way. In terms of mainstream popular culture, you know, people can see a strong woman when faced with adversity, um, you know, through Gentleman Jack in the way that Sally Wainwright has portrayed her.